Hello, this is Polygon Wizard, here with a thrilling tale of triumph in the face of tragedy. It all started with the man, the myth, the legend, Voltron! Back in the day, not so long ago, Voltron played Minecraft with a few of his friends in a world, under the moniker of the F-Team Squad. Many fun times were had and documented for all to see on YouTube. Unfortunately, the universe had other plans, and computer troubles caused all server data to be lost. The man Voltron shouted, I will not give up, into the heavens with his head held high. Gathering a few fellow Minecraft gurus to his side, plans were put in motion to resurrect the F-Team squad in the form of a Patreon-fueled multiplayer server, complete with custom terrain generation, bountiful ore deposits, and a dash of command block wizardry. And thus, this new world came to be. A place where patrons of the YouTuber Voltron could carry on the legend of the old while building a new community one block Block at a time. Welcome to the F Team Squad fan server. And in other news, creepers still be creeping. Over to you, rest of the episode! I saw you, buddy. <laughs> We're going to be tearing this down here, but I just wanted to do it for a little bit of a gag in the video. Whoa. Okay, you're all right. You're all right, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> See, that little uh, hole is uh, lit up at stuff for you, too, so you'll be fine. All right, so I was lucky and found a horse and tamed it straight off, and I had to put it in a dirt box. That's my temporary horse storage with my protective roof because I had couple uh, things fall in there like a skeleton and then just before starting to record I got this guy as well hello so what I'm gonna do is I'm going since it's pain in the butt to get this guy in and out of there I'm gonna take his saddle that I have that somebody gave me hey where are you? can I get you here there we are saddle and we'll ride the other horse don't worry guys we're gonna have a stable built for these Equine companions here and ugh, silly sheep are driving me nuts. Being in the swamp has its benefits. We found a slime. We've also gone around a little bit and done some exploring. Here we go. We've got dark oak. We've got ooh, one of those grew over there. We've got our birch. We've got an acacia down there. Where do you come from? It's daytime. <laughs> yeah, there's nobody else on right now. There was somebody a minute ago. But let's go around. A few other things you need to know about this server is not only did they add a cool custom spawn house to start with, there is some command block trickery going on here. And maybe some other mods. I don't know. I think it's all done with command blocks. And then some custom world generation. So there's a lot more ore around the place. You can even find diamonds on the surface. I found some on surface level earlier. It's pretty great. But even just normal uh, generation, it's a lot higher than it normally comes in. And there's a lot more of coal and iron and everything everywhere as well. So I don't know who built this thing, but it's pretty cool looking. I like it a lot. Let's let's look dangerously right in here. I've got all these uh, fake statues of people around. These are some of the... Uh, the mods on here. Squirt Dude and Too Cute. If you look up there, there's a wild lofty hanging from the chandelier. And there's also a Fultron up there. Ta-da! Thanks, Optifine. There you go. He's the whole reason this server exists. So thank you, Fultron, for starting this. It's pretty awesome. I have no idea who built this building here, but I like it a lot. <laughs> it's got a bit of an intimidation factor going on. Here we go, there you go. There's BJ, one of the other mods. I knew he was around there somewhere. And we've got... M Mother Cluckers got started up last night. Somebody built a quick little thing. So that we can have food on the server. Pretty nice. Which is good, because I've got one fish and four bread left on me. <laughs> so that is a new addition. We also, somewhere around here, have uh, a little bit of random junk over here farms and such 
But what we really want to look at is... Ooh, a temporary community chest. Okay, I missed that before. Anyway, we've got a nether portal down here, which is pretty awesome looking. And it's tall enough for horses. On the other side, there is a little bit of a nether hub, but... I want to show you this really quickly. Here you go. We've got a big obsidian pillar growing out from where the portal is. So let's see if we can... Tether our horse temporarily here. Ding, and go through. Don't worry, we'll be back. <laughs> See ya! I need to get a name tag so I can name my horses. So, this is what the other side looks like. It's still pretty dangerous. You can fall down there, but... It goes straight into the nether pretty quickly. So you got a little balcony on this side. You got a little portal cube going on here. And then you've got just a nice circle, basically. And that's about it. Just wanted to show you guys real quickly. Okay, there we go. There we go. Trying to think. Anything else? Alright, so anyway, I'm going to be playing on this server. We're going to be building up a house over there and a little place for our horses, but then we're going to have to go around somewhere to find somewhere cool to build. Because look, custom world generation where they're throwing stuff in like this mountain here. I mean, come on. That's just awesome looking. Got a few little uh, community animals here. And then I think that down there is how you get to where the skeleton spawner is, because somebody built a little uh, farm for skeletons down there. I don't know where the actual spawner is. But it was this weird staircase, so we're going to have to build... Someone's going to have to build a more direct way to get to it. But hey, we've got bones and arrows for days if we want them, so it's pretty nice. And other than that, you can tell it's pretty sparse around here. I know going off in that direction... Past my house... Let's see, there you go, you can see... Somebody else has some birch trees. But, yeah, we go that way. It's my house. Whoops, hello, hole in the ground. Let's go this way. There's someone building up on a big hill with lots of dark oak, and then off that way, someone else is building a house in the middle of the... Actually, I think it is the plains. I don't remember. It was somewhere in the between a couple of biomes, so I can't remember which one it was in. Then there's some people building around spawn, and I'm sure there's other places that people are building... Like, here you go. Plaid SCG's area you can build here. So I'm going to head back home here for a bit. Get rid of our desk. Fight some mobs. And hopefully not die. I haven't yet. There was lots of death on the server yesterday. Which was pretty funny. But I have not died. Apart from when we originally spawned in, a lot of us spawned in on the roof of that house. And they have some sort of protection on it. And so I died from jumping off the roof and also getting hurt while I was up there, whatever. But after that, nothing. Also, I just wanted to tell you guys I'm not going to be giving up my single player series. This is just something else I'm going to do. But I'm going to do a little bit of farming and some maintenance around here. And I'm going to be back with you shortly. Just wanted to let you guys in on the fun right from the start. We're back here at the spawn area with this super awesome house. And what we're going to do is going to bring us some cows over to our little hole in the wall place so that we can get some leather and some food eventually once we breed them up. Because I want to have an enchanting setup. And for that, I need books. We got plenty of reeds, if you remember, but I need cows. So let's get some cows here. I made a couple more leads. And I'm going to breed them up really quick. So what I'm going to do is you are going to get tied to a fence. And we're going to breed these guys up. And then we're going to take a few out. Yay! Repopulation. Alright, I think that's it. Whoops. We'll let one out. Sorry. Alright, you and the baby cat will take you. I'll just have to wait for you to grow up. Alright, and... Get all our 
leads back do this again you cow and you baby cow and let's ride our horse instead all right let's see if we can make it back without breaking the leads eh probably not gonna happen oh there we go server lag <laughs> lag spike going on i was wondering what happened things were quiet too quiet <laughs> All right, guys, I know you like your super awesome house over there to look at, but you're coming with me. <laughs> Let's go down this way so we don't trample things. A lot of these trees have grown. Now we're going to do some chopping in a minute, but cows, temporary storage. Come on, baby cow, you can get up there. Baby cow, you come this way. And then go in the hole. There. Haha. -ha. Do this right. There we go. Animal storage temporary. No! Oh, dang it. Alright, well, this will let us get our leads back anyway to do this quickly mm -hmm. ha all right everybody welcome back as you can see a few things have changed <laughs> this is the next day since the last clip and yes there's a few people on three other than me so we've been talking a little bit this is a bit uh early in the evening on fr no yes friday ah, losing track of my days and so, you know, previous clips was from earlier, so lots has happened since then. As you can see, I have two white horses. If you remember, the one I had in the last clip had gray spots on it. That one was gone. I logged off and came back. I had, didn't have this pen built yet. I just had a little cobble box that had two cows and a horse in it. They disappeared. I lost one cow. <laughs> so I had to go get more. And then I had just the fences here. And they started glitching out every time I log off and come back in or sometimes go away and come back. I think it's something to do with the chunk loading uh, going away and then loading back in that they glitch through the fence somehow. I don't know. I've had this work before. If you put full blocks on the other side of fences, it's ugly, but hopefully we'll keep them in there for now. We're not going to keep this animal pen forever, so I think it'll work. We'll just have ugliness for right now. We're going to breed up some cows so we can get some you know leather for books so we can fill our our enchanting station once we build our house oh i started <laughs> i did a bunch of building last night and i've kind of just freeformed it a bit and i have a bunch of platforms i need to fill in with walls and figure out exactly what i want to do but i've got a cool look here i like how it started i got to figure out more materials i want to use for walls and stuff and how i want to do windows and all of that but I do like what I've come up with for the roof. So let's look at this side so you can kind of see the overall shape to it. I want to do something a little bit flatter and different, but not, you know, completely flat. So it's kind of an inverted roof where it comes down to a point in the middle. But it's very, very shallow. So it looks kind of cool as it is wide open like that, but I'm not going to keep it that way. I wanted this back side that faces the lake uh, the swamp lake whatever to have the bigger windows and then I'm going to have two places where you can get into this house one right here where my dirt is we'll build a nice stairway up there and then we're also on the other side of this on the pumpkins we're gonna have stairs going up to this platform which I haven't decided if I want to leave this open to the outdoors or just have a short little stairway and porch and have this be covered in inside i haven't figured that out yet and i'm going to do some experimenting where i'm going to add a section in the middle here where it goes taller i might do that tonight get the overall bare bones shape worked out and then move on to filling it all in and getting all the walls nice and pretty as you can see i've got a lot of uh, farming to do i just logged on so lots and lots of work to do here but while I do that, let me eat some chicken real quick. Um, okay, I got plenty of room. 
we're gonna do our little farming I'm gonna let you guys know about some stuff going on with me lately if you've watched any of my single-player videos then you know that this summer for the past three months or so three or four months I've been doing freelance work while I was searching for full-time employment again so I've been doing that for a while keeping afloat with all the random projects I could do but finally whoops I'm gonna go get something first before we do that finally I've got a new job last week a week ago now I got a I had well a little over a week I got the job offer and then we finalized it a week ago from today that I'm recording this let's put these back and I want to grab my fortune pick Yes, I put together a bunch of, uh, let's see, where is it? I know I've got it in these chests. I don't, <laughs> I haven't learned where all my stuff is. There we go, paper left over. Since I have a ton of reeds out here, I put enough paper together to finish off our enchant station over at spawn. Oh yes, we'll show you. Plaid is on right now. Plaid SCG. I want to make sure I get the orders right. That tower right there is kind of looking awesome so far started it yesterday it was just cobble and now they've added the roof on it and a bunch of leaves i like it a lot and apparently we've got some sort of a drop based farm over there too and then here we'll come back to the crops in a second i want to show you this if i can Ooh, rain this mountain will get in view we can show you something else that i saw cropped up on the side of it people building stuff everywhere man that's the fun part about a server especially at the beginning all sorts of new things cropping up all the time so we'll just run behind the tower here and look there we go mountain all right we're gonna have to hey cool <laughs> we have to go up to here so we can actually see it i thought that it might pop in before then but yeah see there's someone's built a platform all the way up here kind of three quarters up the mountain and there's also a path of torches all the way up the side and i think yeah you can see the ladders up there so you can see part of it's there's this path that goes all the way up kind of the top and it looks really cool at nighttime it's all lit up it's fun but anyway back to my story about jobs so i am going to be doing video editing which is something that i haven't done professionally well technically I have but not as my job title this is going to be you know 90 80 to 90 percent of my job is gonna be editing some videos for this company that I'm gonna be working for and I think that's gonna be awesome I've done animation and motion graphics and that sort of stuff in the past full-time where some video editing would pop up every once in a while plus all the stuff I do, do on YouTube so yeah it's gonna be really really cool like the content for the videos that they put together is really fun i got to do a sample video for them as part of the hiring process and i really really enjoyed it so i'm looking forward to doing this job which i start in another week or so a little over a week on the 21st of september is my start date so it's pretty awesome it's gonna feel great to have a full-time uh, job again a lot more stable as far as paying bills and all that goes all right sure I'll leave a carrot don't have to worry about paying them quite as much as I have the last several months so it's gonna be awesome and it might actually be good for you guys because I like, the last several months I haven't been putting out as many videos partially because I've been working on different projects all the time and haven't been wanting to make videos or having the time to make them when I did I was kind of like uh, I don't want to make them so I was slowed down a whole lot but I'm thinking now that I'll be stable with a job as long as I don't have some crazy deadline I'll be able to do more videos for you guys which I think is also awesome I will be able to play in kind of the evenings and weekends and you know have the energy to put together some videos and do cool build projects and all of that stuff so I'm looking forward to it I hope it turns out that way because <laughs> you never know I haven't actually started it yet it's gonna take a little bit to settle into this new job do, do, whoops wrong one top top one man top one I'm gonna have to start a place for my wheat again which is where I had it where all the carrots and potatoes are now but now that I'm built up on carrots and potatoes 
I don't really need to keep it there. I might switch it back over to wheat. We shall see. Because wheat you do need all the time for breeding to animals. Speaking of which, let's do that. Do, do, do. Alright, here you go, guys. Come on. Yep, just cows in here and like maybe half of what I had yesterday and then I have some sheep in there too and the sheep they're all gone so I hope it's not something worse where it's just mobs are disappearing randomly hey there creeper I see you just chilling trying to stay out of the rain all right wait what's that oh we got a zombie over there too we're pretty gold armor hey wait he sees me <laughs> I promise I wasn't staring I just saw you and I was about to look away you had to come over here didn't you well, here. Fine. Follow me. Come on. Come on. We'll have an epic fight in the rain. Oh! Alright, I don't want to get the creeper to track me, too. So we'll try not to go all the way up. Oh, no drops. <laughs> Alright, so I think that is about all for this episode. I hope you guys like the kind of start of progress on the house. And a quick little glimpse at the other things cropping up next to me. And we will do some more stuff for the next episode. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give me some suggestions for some cool additions for what might fit in kind of a swampy theme. I don't know that I want to spend too much time here. I think I want to make a cool house that I can put some storage in and maybe some furnishings and a nice fishing platform. And then probably call it quits there and then move out somewhere that, you know, I haven't done much exploring yet. So we'll find a cool place to build an actual base maybe. So that's for the future for right now. We're worried about our kind of spawn area. I've got other plans like finding a place to put a community tree farm and maybe another community build like a come up with a project board for everybody to look at and say, hey, here's some cool community thing I think we should have. So I don't know. Maybe I'll actually build a house or the enchanting setup we have over there because right now it's just on the ground. So make it a little safer. Go to pretty little building or something. But anyway, I don't know. We'll see what I get up to, and you guys can um, you know, sh see what happens in the next episode. Let me know what you'd like to see. Maybe we'll get to do that, too. So feedback is appreciated. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.